Hello, everybody. Oh, wait, hold on. That's better. <laughs> we got matching Christmas sweaters. They're little llamas. Let me give you a good shot. I'm really bad about this part. They're little Christmas llamas. How stinking cute. All us girls have one. Oh, so cute. We found them at Fred Meyers yesterday and we decided to just get them. They were 60% off. And I was like, Black Friday is not gonna be much better than that. So we're gonna go now. They're a little bit loud. <laughs> I'm not sure how long we'll be able to keep this on. One, for sound. And two, for I am a very warm person all the time. So it, it may need a change. <laughs> So it is November 17th and we are decorating for Christmas. And before you people, I'm gonna call you joy suckers, um, <laughs> complain about decorating for Christmas before Thanksgiving, I am gonna tell you why we do and why you should too. So if you start Christmas stuff on December 1st, do you know how much Christmas stuff you have to do? If you wanna do all the fun things now, if you're just doing it to decorate and you don't have traditions like decorating cookies, doing gingerbreads, those things, then then sure, you probably have enough time. The reason we decorate for Christmas so early is because honestly, Christmas is very overwhelming for me. The whole season is stressful. And when we decorate early, it gives us time to decorate cookies and to do the gingerbreads and to drive around for Christmas lights, um, to decorate for Christmas, to do, to watch all the Christmas movies. Like there's so much to do. There's no reason to jam pack it into three weeks is about all you give yourself if you wait until December 1st. So I have jokingly <laughs> on Instagram, I said I was gonna put one decoration out until Lance realized he's like living in Christmas. So we have a few things up like the clings and then I have this sign that I ordered off of Instagram, which it's kind of cheap. It came from like a way another country far away and I wasn't even sure it was gonna show up but it did and it's our, it is really kind of cute. It lights up, it's a, a battery thing, but uh, I wouldn't say I would highly recommend it. And we have just kind of like random decorations, very few, but he did finally realize what I was doing <laughs> and uh, jokingly said, absolutely not. <laughs> But in all honesty, he actually told me like if it brought me joy to just decorate whenever I want. So if we decorate in the middle of November, it gives us just over uh, a month to enjoy it. Right now there's 38 days until Christmas. So just over a month we have to enjoy it. And we're gonna do that. Um, we have been watching lots of Christmas movies already. Almost any chance we get. I love Christmas movies. I love them all. Noel is a great one, all the Santa Clauses. Like I just love all the Santa Clauses. So if you're one of those people that complains about other people, stop, <laughs> okay? People might need that extra little bit of joy to get through this season. And when you're telling them they shouldn't be doing that or why are they decorating before Thanksgiving or why are they decorating before December, um, you're just stealing joy. That's all you're doing. <laughs> any good so that's my little rant i think it's so funny that like in september people are allowed to decorate for halloween and it's not a big deal people don't care if you have decorations for halloween up for two months but yet like if you decorate before december 1st people lose their minds they're like why would you ever because joy some people need joy this time of year and if that's decorating for christmas in november or october let them do it <laughs> so lance and i actually cleaned up the living room kind of there's still so many piles but it's so nice i told him we need to do more of these i am already getting warm you can see my cheeks holy smokes this wall is going to be where we i'll move this stuff but this is where we're going to do it you guys i finally got these up lance got me this for christmas last year and just a few weeks ago, I finally put pictures in them of my favorite photo shoot ever, not the camping one. I didn't have enough of the camping ones to put in all these photo albums and I wanted them kind of the same theme. My sweet friend Bethany took these pictures. I'm actually gonna leave her Instagram down below. She just moved to Colorado and she's an amazing photographer, completely affordable. Um, if she raises her prices, I would not blame her because she did an amazing job. All these pictures I'm about to show you are from her. Also, I'm gonna leave the link for this. Um, I think it was like $89 the other day for this entire set. Uh, and I thought that was a really good deal. So I'll leave a link for that down below. Let me show you. Look how stinking cute all these pictures are, you guys. 
They're just like candid, they're fun. This one reminds me a little bit of the Adams Family. <laughs> but it's also like a super good picture. Look how stinking precious. This is what I call our favorites picture. So it's something that they all enjoyed at the time. So he's got a Nerf gun, she has a baby doll. He's got a Minecraft sword and she has slime in her hands. I have a vlogging camera just to hold something. And then dad has a I'll, I can fix it cup with some duct tape. This is where I'll be for the next month. Oh. <laughs> Go to your hole, you little rat! <laughs> I didn't change my mind. It's too early for Christmas. Wait, what? It's not even Thanksgiving yet. Go down there and get the thing. <laughs> you're right, you're right, you're right. Mom's gonna decorate the porch. Yes, I am. Oh. Oh. The tree! Oh, yeah. oh, yeah. Making our Christmas memories. I've been working so much lately I can barely find the time to sleep Yeah, I spend my time running around Keeping people pleased But this is my favorite holiday It's a chance to start over new Cause I missed you so I'm letting go of everything but you These are the good times with you Baby, this year is just gonna be you and me Hang by the fire and chill Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh And I've been longing to hold you close Forget about everything else Isn't this how it's supposed to be? Making our Christmas memories, oh one of the teachers and so I had to have a conversation and I never came back to you guys but we're decorating for Christmas <laughs> I know this is gonna be a very piece together vlog I'm just vlogging little bits here and there luckily the kids are like old enough to kind of do everything there's there's got to be a referee in there though because it gets a little crazy this is the first year an ornament has not broken I I was like mentally preparing myself because every year I get stressed out because it's special ornament breaks and then I have to like, I get cranky, I'm, I'm like cranky mom and I have to calm myself down and none of them broke this year. They were still cranky mom, but <laughs> it gets a little hectic. It's all good now though. Um, we got the tree decorated. We got a few things up. We got the stockings hung. It's still crazy. There's still like little piles of stuff guys. I could have waited until it was like perfect and everything was perfectly clean, but um, also this Christmas sweater is like, ugh. I don't normally like things around my neck. We actually forgot about dinner. So Lance just ran to Thumbs Up, which is really good. They're on Badger Road. It's called Thumbs Up Thai Food and it is one of our favorite places to go. We're gonna go eat some dinner and then get back to it. We still gotta put the star on the tree and I gotta put my village up and there's still a few more things we gotta do. But um, overall, probably the least stressful Christmas decorating has been. The kids already, 
Bad sound. Oh, it's a terrible sound. Oh yeah, also the train. The kids have to set the train up. That's one of their favorite things is to look around it <laughs> after we put it up. So, all right, let's go eat some food and we'll get back to it. Jingle bells ringing in my ear. Jingle bell a sound that's oh so dear. Frosty the snowman is all around town. Watch out for rain, these are falling down. We stay up waiting for seven tonight. He climbs down the chimney at the speed of light. While we're dancing around the Christmas tree. Hugging and kissing just you and me. real it gets a little bit crazy decorating for Christmas I don't know why I get overwhelmed um, and it's not all just like magical moments it is magical moments but just you know there's still stresses for us it's not a perfect like go smoothly and it's calm there's Christmas music playing and it's like a perfect memory I don't want to make it sound like it was not fun it was absolutely fun, but there's still crazy moments. So do the things, okay? I just want you to know you're normal if it's crazy and you feel like you're just frazzled by the end of it, that's me, okay? I don't know why, it's just crazy. But we got the tree up um, and the train. And we got the stockings. It's a little bit crazy over there, don't mind that. We got the stockings, we got the little random things out. We got some stuff out. Uh, we're still missing a little bit. We're missing our tree skirt. We're missing some lights to go on the railing. So there's a little bit more to do. I love my village. I wasn't able to do it for so many years because we had little kids. When Brayden was born, we had a four-year-old, a two-year-old, and a newborn. And that was crazy. And then Addison was born like three years later. It was just like we always had little kids and I didn't want to be stressed out and I didn't want to be constantly like don't touch that because it's a little tiny house that has lights and is cute and of course they're going to want to touch it. So um, this year I'm going full blown, I'm getting all the houses out and I get to do it all. So it's just a small season. If you're in that season just know it does not last forever and I know it's such a like cheesy thing to say but one day you'll be able to put up the village one day you'll be able to put the fragile ornaments on and you'll look back and say oh my gosh we don't have little ones anymore this is the first year addison is four and this is the first year where i was like the ornaments can go anywhere i haven't been able to do that in 12 years so anyways i don't know it was just one of those things today that i realized that we can have the fragile things out and you know what some things might get broken and i have to remind myself that they are just things and that's okay so all right i am going to end this one thank you guys for coming along we're going to costco tomorrow so if you don't already follow me those are always a good time we're also going to be hitting up a local co-op here um it's just kind of like a, a market that they have stuff from all over the world. I have a funny story, actually. Yesterday was Landon's infusion and we were at the hospital where we sat there. We have it down to five hours, which is amazing. Um, but we were sitting there and our nurse was like, hey, do you want to try this cookie? And I was like, oh, sure. I'll try everything, anything once. I don't care what they are. <laughs> so I tried one and she was like, they're at the co-op. It's like a, I'm not even sure. It was from like, like a cookie from a different country. And I was like, oh, those are kind of different. Not super flavorful but like kind of good and different and so then she comes back in the room to like change his IV and or his I, IV pump to faster and she was like oh my gosh have you ever had a Milka chocolate and I was like milk chocolate <laughs> she's like no it's milk chocolate it's from Germany and it's so good and I was like oh no I've never had that before I'll have to look for it and she's like they have it in the co-op anyways 
she ended up giving me a bar of it and Lance is like on the website right now trying to pay $25 for shipping to get a bunch of these sent. <laughs> and you know what a, a funny thing is? She handed me this bar and Landon's nickname, basically <laughs> his nickname is Tucka or Tux. And we just started calling him that because I would hold him and I'd grip my teeth and go tucka, 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 tucka. Like it was just a sound I made that turned into a nickname. It's so ridiculous. <laughs> There it is. There it is. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Anyways, I, we ended up calling him Tux or t -Wuck or we have like lots of nicknames. Anyways, the brand is Tuck. How stinking cute is that? I was like, oh my gosh. Um, oh, brand is Milka. That's the Tuck. Tuck is the cracker on the chocolate. Oh, okay. Okay. Lance just, did you know? <laughs> Lance is like a professional in this chocolate. I guess the brand is Milka. To me, it looks different. Does that not look like like this is this is it, the brand? Like is, this is the brand? I don't, don't eat us alive. I don't know. We're gonna go find these because Lance was ready to drop a hundred. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they melt really easy, so um, shipping might be kind of hard. Anyways, that was a long story about chocolate. But we're gonna go tomorrow <laughs> and go like go off and try to find this chocolate, and it's gonna be a good time. So. All right, hit that like, hit that subscribe, and we will see you in the next video. Bye! Also, Merry Christmas. <laughs>